93% of consumers believe that manufacturers should make it crystal clear on a pack if it can be recycled or not. We're here at Household Waste and Recycling Centre to find out what happens to our paint can. Empty plastic paint cans can have the comparatively limited recycling life, while metal paint cans can be recycled over and over with no loss of quality. If choosing between two different containers of paint of a similar colour, 28% of us would be influenced by the recyclability of the paint container we buy, and we prefer metal cans over plastic. A third of shoppers say they are more likely to buy metal compared to just 13% who cite plastic. Every day, steel bales can come into the steel site from all over the UK. The bales contain used steel packaging, which households have put out for recycling. So Nicola, we've just come from the recycling centre. What is happening behind us? It looks fantastic. So behind us are the tin can bales, which can have the paint cans in, along with all of the other steel packaging from the recycling waste stream. Here are their bales. One of these bales can be up to half a tonne in weight and contain 12,500 cans. That is quite impressive and very strong magnets, I'm guessing. So we use an electromagnet because steel is magnetic. That's why it's so easy to recover from the domestic waste stream. Fantastic. On to the next stage. On to the next stage. Operating in 26 different countries, Tata Steel deliver 10 million tonnes of steel across Europe each year. Steel bows are delivered to huge steel production plants like this, Tata Steel, in Port Talbot, South Wales. I'm here with Nicola. Nicola, what's happening today? So your empty paint cans from the recycling centre will be delivered to a steel plant like this. It'll get mixed with molten iron, blasted with oxygen to 1,700 degrees and get turned into new steel. That's quite hot. It's very hot indeed. Amazing. And how long does the process take? It takes roughly 20 minutes to turn the old scrap steel into new steel. Pretty quick then? Very quick and it can turn into just another paint can. Amazing. Let's check it out. The scrap box is offloaded into the furnace, then the liquid iron is poured on top of the scrap bales. This is then blasted with oxygen at twice the speed of sound for around 20 minutes. The oxygen creates the exothermic reaction and turns the liquid iron into steel and also melts the old can bales into shiny new steel. It's an absolute massive converter and you can actually literally feel the heat coming off of it. After the steel is made, it gets cast into slabs and flame cut into size. William Say Co is the last independent, family-owned can manufacturing line in London. Here at this factory, they take the pre-printed metal sheets and turn them into cans. I'm here with Stuart, Head of Marketing and Sales. Hi Stuart. Hi. So what are we doing in this factory today? So what we do here is we take uh, sheet metal and reform it using power from our solar farm into tin cans. So how long does that process usually take? Uh, our normal lead time is two weeks from uh, the start of the cutting process to finish cans coming off the end of the line. Amazing. And obviously um, we're talking heavily on um, recyclable cans. What is William Say Co doing um, for their bit in the recycling angle? So other than the fact that we installed solar farms on the flat roofs, uh, we're now starting to emboss environmental messages on the bottom of our cans just to help consumers and retailers know exactly where the cans come from and uh, what you can do with them when you finish with them. transforming each sheet in a hypnotic, engrossing process to once again become the can. Factory workers carefully check every step of the journey, making sure each part is correct.
Brits use around 12.5 billion steel cans every year. On average, one household gets through 600 steel cans every year. That's about two per day, but we only manage to recycle about half of them. And steel is the most recycled material on the planet, more than all other materials combined. So it's time to really start thinking about recycling, from your paint cans to your household waste. It's time to do your bit. Farron Ball is famous for its unusual paint names with perennial favourites such as Elephant's Breath. Here at their headquarters in Wimborne they fill up 24 tins a minute and it's feasible that some of the metal used to make these cans has probably been here before. Let's go inside. Okay, so I'm here with Gareth, Head of Research and Technical Development. It's a huge um, thing that consumers are worrying about these days. Why is it important that Farrow and Ball do have recyclable tin cans? Well, we're very passionate about what we do to um, minimise our impact on the environment. We were certainly one of the first, if not the first, paint company to switch to 100% water-based production. Um, so by doing that, we reduce the amount of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs as people may have heard of, that are emitted out into the atmosphere um, that can cause bad air pollution uh, and, and make a, um, the, the air we breathe not as nice. We then also have very good recycling here, so we're recycling up to 97% of the waste generated on site. Um, we've got our own water treatment plant uh, and then um, obviously using the metal tins it means that one the product's protected as it goes out to our customers around the world and also the fact that when the customers finish with the paint they're able to take it to their local recycling centre and get the tins recycled so that the metal continuously goes around that um, reused within the production. So you see how metal never really goes away, and it's estimated that 80% of metal ever produced is still in circulation today. 